Yeah, uh, first, uh, just really proud of uh, proud of my guys, our guys. I thought, um, you know, they showed a lot of resiliency. I've uh, been through a lot this season. Um, they they really, after they got the news the other day, really uh, came together uh, and 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 uh, had a lot showed a lot of resolve. I thought uh, with uh, the leadership that we got from guys like Skylar Mays and uh, Tremont Waters, we probably had our best practice last uh, yesterday. And uh, guys came out with, uh, you know, great attitudes. And uh, we had a segment, too, last night. Before, um, every night before the game, we put our guys up in the hotel over at Lock Hook. And um, um, we um, been, would have been senior night. We uh, went around the room, and we let, let Cavell uh, Bigsley, uh, he had a chance to speak to the, to the group and did a great job. And then we went around, and everybody had a chance to share things uh, with Cavell. And uh, just really proud that we were able to win for him. And, uh, and, and he was able to go out a winner here, and uh, we're not we're not done yet. What was your plan of attack when you got the news and you were named interim, and, and how did you go about getting these guys ready for this? Well, they uh, they were prepared. Uh, you know, we got a, a great group. I, I told them when they uh, named me interim, interim we're going to be co uh, co uh, Co-coaches. I mean, I have a, we've got a great staff. I mean, Greg Hires, he should be a head coach somewhere. Uh, Bill Armstrong, those guys are great coaches. They've been around a long time, and uh, we just picked it up. And then when you have uh, leadership like uh, guys on your team, like Skylar Mays, Tremont Waters, those guys did a great job. I said, guys, you're going to have to help me. <laughs> you know, uh, you got a guy like Trayvon Water, that makes it a little bit easier, too. You know, but, uh, but, you know, that's basically what we did. And just try to uh, get them focused and, and have tunnel vision. And guys, let's get, let's get, all we can control is what we can control is that's today, right now. Let's go out and have a great practice, a great film session, and let's see if we can uh, have some carryover today, and which we did. I thought our guys came out really focused uh, tonight. You, you talked about Tremont. Um, he mentioned, and the other players mentioned that you basically told him, hey, here's the keys to the cars, drive it. How much confidence did you have in him, and, and how do you think he performed? In that well, uh, you know, when you got players that uh, have the ability that a scholar made, a Tremont, you know, sometimes, you know, as a coach, you can get in their way. So I just think, look, guys, I need you guys to help, 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 help me and help, help us coaches. Just go make plays. But uh, the one thing we got to do is make sure we defend. You know, we, we felt, uh, you know, if we got out and defended it, and uh, got stops, we could get out and push the tempo, which we were able to do. I thought we set the tone uh, pushing the basketball and get some easy shots. And then uh, I was really proud of Marshall Graves. You know, Marshall was a teammate of, uh, of Wade and, and Sky at U High, and really proud for him to come in there and, uh, you know, and, and make some baskets. He wasn't bashful. <laughs> he was shooting from Steph Curry land tonight. And uh, then Darius Days, I thought Darius had one of his better games, and he made some big shots for us uh, when we needed to when we went on that run. Coach, here in the back, uh, you and Will and the coaching staff and the team have worked so hard to get to this moment. Is it, is it disappointing when he's not there to cut down the nets yeah, with you? No doubt. I mean, no doubt. Uh, you know, Coach, uh, um, I had a chance to talk to him, you know, and he said, hey, just get the guys ready and you guys go win the, win the championship. And so it's, it's, very, it's a difficult time for everybody, you know. And so, uh, but our guys, the main focus has got to be on the kids. You know, it's making sure that they uh, stay focused and, and, uh, and, and, have, and, and continue to grow and have success like we, I thought uh, we came out and played together today, and uh, I mean tonight, and uh, just really proud of the way they stuck together tonight. Tony, you could just describe the emotion tonight. I mean, there were a lot of chants and, and boos and things like that. How do you coach in an environment like that? Well, I, I, I've been a lot of places, guys. I've been doing this almost 28, well, 28 years, I'm getting old, a long time, but this is, it, it, LSU has some of the best fans I've ever been around. I mean, it's best fans in the country, and you know they're just passionate about all their sports. And uh, you know, and so I, I thought that you know they were just you know being supportive uh, of this group. I think they they've done a great job of supporting this team. Hey, Dan, you got a question? Just wondering, though, in your vast experience, how bizarre it was to coach in a game, your first game as the head coach, where you win a league title and the place is largely going crazy for you but at the same time they're booing your athletic director and saying negative things uh, about him yeah I can't I can't get into that but you know I've, I've coached you know I've been a coach I was been a head coach before but didn't have the type of players I got now but I have some good, you know, some decent players but uh you know all I try to do is focus on the players and, and make sure that uh, they knew the game plan 
I thought our coaches, I thought Greg hiring Bill Armstrong did a good, great job of, of helping, helping me prepare the guys for, for the nice task. And that was to come out and, and, and win the championship. And uh, I thought after we watched the Auburn game, hey, we had to finish the job. We wanted to win it outright. And that's what we wanted to do. And the, the guys came in and, and they were focused once they uh, got to, you know, watch the game early in the day when Auburn uh, beat Tennessee and said, guys, we don't want to share this with anybody. Let's go out and win it. And I thought we did a great job of staying focused and getting the, getting the job done. Coach, without Javante and Naz tonight, you obviously didn't have your full cupboard to work with. What was your mindset in terms of relegating minutes to the rest of the guys available? Well, we uh, we knew Marshall. You know, those guys get you know Marshall gets reps in practice. A lot of times he's on a scout team, and he's he's always the other team's best player, especially at the guards position. He lights us up. We can't guard him, but uh, we knew he'd be ready to play. Marshall's, uh, you know, we knew he'd be prepared. But then Will Reese, I thought Will Reese came in and gave us some uh, solid minutes. You know, defensively and, and on uh, moving the basketball the minutes that he was in there. So we just tried to get him ready to go. Uh, Tony, over here. Um, I know you said that all of you were like co-coaches, um, but what was it like for you after, you know, being an assistant for a couple of years to step back into that head coaching role? Well, you know, didn't know what happened this quickly, to be honest with you, <laughs> you know, but uh, I, I got a call last night from my uh, former college coach, uh, Gerald Myers, who coached me at Texas Tech. He was a former AD at, uh, at Tech, and, um, and he was my college coach, and he was, a, but anyway, he called, and, and I thought he gave me a great piece of advice. He said, just concentrate on the kids. Don't try to go out and reinvent the wheel. Just do, you know, just uh, kind of be consistent on what you guys have been doing and just stay, you know, defensively, offensively, just uh, continue to, 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 um, to, to, to do the things that you guys have been doing, and, and I think you'll be fine. And he was right. Tony, as you understand it, uh, what is the plan going forward uh, for yourself, for Nas, Javante, you got so much uncertainty going well, forward. Well, Nas is fine. Nas is just uh, protocol. He should be fine. Uh, you know, he had uh, got hit in the face, so he just, you know, was recovering from that. So he, Nas will be fine. Nas will be ready to go. Uh, Javante, we just got to, we're just kind of in a wait and see uh, position right now to see what, uh, you know, when he'll, uh, once the, I guess the, they do, do the investigation, finish to complete that uh, process, he'll, you know, hopefully he'll be ready to go uh, on Tuesday when we practice. Tony, how much did you anticipate the type of atmosphere going into this game, and how much did you prepare the players knowing it could be cheering and jeering all at once? Yeah. We, we, we told the guys to kind of, and we've been like this all year, you know, uh, sometimes you got to block out the peripheral, and when you get in that court, you got to stay focused. And, and I, I think our guys, they've had blinders on, so to speak, you know, tunnel vision, just, just lock in on your job, do your job. As coaches, we got to do our job. So each one of you have a job to do. Okay, don't try to do, like Evan Williams, don't go out there and try to shoot three-pointers. Just, you know, bring us great energy and, and, and get on the glass and run the floor. Just do the things that you've been doing all year to help us get to this point. And that's the one thing I just try to do. Just make sure we're consistent with that. Well, we can't control the, the noise. Darius, with his, with his effort from beyond the arc, I mean, what what did you see out of him you know, coming into I knew this? He's, I knew Darius really would play well. He, Darius has been in the gym. He's been on the gun. He's getting a lot of shots up. And I just told him, Darius, you know, next play. Sometimes he gets down on himself too easily or, or, or he gets in foul trouble. And we can't play him as long as we want, as many minutes as we like to. But I thought tonight he came in, he's ready to play. He had a good mismatch. Uh, he had a, 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 a kind of a... A mismatch, he had a bigger guy on him, so we were ready to put, it, put his defender in a pick-and-pop situation, and uh, Darius was able to take advantage of that and make some open threes. He had some good looks. Coach, you spoke about uh, having the blinders on right here okay. in the back. Um, you have a team that a lot of people think can do something very significant moving forward, uh, and then that there will likely be you know, those kind of distractions and kind of things swirling around them. I mean. You being the head coach of that team now, I mean, just your overall thoughts on, you know, moving forward with all that, all those things. Yeah, well, we're gonna meet. Uh, we'll give them a couple of days off, and then we'll get together. Uh, uh, we're back, we're back in practice on Tuesday, but we're gonna keep the, the same plan we, we we had tonight. You know, was to we'll come back and we'll keep working on our fundamentals on the court individually. We we do individual workouts, and we'll work on that our individual skills, and then we'll work on what we got to do as a team when we figure out the next opponent that we have to play. We have three four solid days of practice before we uh, play on Friday. So uh, we're just going to stay focused and, and try to keep to the same game plan uh, that we have. And then, 
you know, we, we can't control what the, you know, what's on the outside. All we can control is what's in front of us and try to get better each day. That's what we're going to try to control, and that's the focus that, uh, you know, I want each player to have. Coach, what, what was your day like uh, right here, bud? Okay. What, what was your day like on Friday when you woke up, and, and how did you get the news that you were going to be the interim coach, and just how, how, how shocking was that, or was it? Uh, uh, I had been, I was out recruiting, to be honest with you. I was in, uh, at the state tournament. Um, on uh, on the, on the, I go. What is it? Thursday? Kenny, I'm losing track of days, guys. But, on Friday. <laughs> Friday, yeah. I was, Friday. yeah. I was out recruiting, and then I, I came. I came back. I was out recruiting. I'm sorry. On Thursday, I was at the uh, state tournament in uh, Lake Charles. And I got back late that night, and uh, you know, got in, and then got the news. Uh, you know, around one o'clock, I guess, or noon, that you know, uh, met with Joe and some other administrators that you know they were gonna. Name it in, in the term, and so um, just try to prepare from there. Are you familiar with the Steve Fisher story? Yeah, yeah. Very, some, I had a couple of people call me about that since you brought that up, so I, I don't know. You know. <laughs> he, he has some great players. We have some pretty good ones, too.